over the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan, one aircraft has time and again delivered unrivaled firepower and steadfast support for American warriors on the ground. But now this legendary warbird has evolved, transformed into an even more lethal and advanced aerial weapons platform. This is the story of the A-10 Thunderbolt II. Since its inaugural flight in 1972 and introduction to service in 1977, the A-10, nicknamed the Warthog for its aggressive look and often painted with teeth on the nose cone, has been the U.S. Air Force's undisputed champion of close air support. Designed around the devastating GAU-8 Avenger, a 30mm hydraulically driven 7-barrel Gatling-style autocannon, the A-10 was engineered from the ground up for a singular purpose – to hunt and eliminate enemy tanks and armored vehicles. The A-10's unique design features a titanium-armored bathtub that can withstand direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles up to 23mm. Its honeycomb panel design allows the aircraft to keep flying even with significant damage to the airframe. The A-10's redundant hydraulic flight systems are backed up by manual systems to ensure pilots can always maintain control even after losing hydraulic power. The aircraft's high-mounted engines are shielded from below and widely spaced to increase survivability. For over four decades, the A-10 has been a flying symbol of American air power, from its baptism by fire in the Gulf War of 1991, where warthogs destroyed over 900 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 military vehicles, and 1,200 artillery pieces, to its ongoing operations in the global war on terror. The sound of its GAU-8 cannon striking fear into the hearts of America's enemies and providing reassurance to American troops under fire. But as the A-10 entered the 21st century, it faced a new challenge, evolving to remain relevant and effective against more advanced threats in an increasingly digital battle space. The avionics and systems that were cutting edge in the 1970s were now outdated and obsolete. To keep the Warthog at the forefront of close air support, a series of sweeping upgrades were initiated. A-10 Upgrades and Renovations the modernization of the A-10 began in 2005 with the Precision Engagement Upgrade Program. This comprehensive update replaced the A-10's dated cockpit dials and gauges with state-of-the-art digital color multifunction displays compatible with night vision goggles. The new glass cockpit greatly enhanced pilot situational awareness and reduced workload. The A-10's already formidable sensor suite received a major boost with the integration of the AN-AAQ-28V Lightning and Sniper Advanced Targeting Pods. These pods provided pilots with high-resolution, forward-looking infrared, charged couple devices, laser rangefinder-slash-designator, and laser spot tracker, enabling the detection, tracking, and engagement of targets at greatly increased standoff ranges, day or night, and in all weather conditions. In 2010, the A-10 began receiving the most substantial upgrade in its history, the Operational Flight Program Suite 8. This extensive hardware and software upgrade completely overhauled the aircraft's central computer and paved the way for a quantum leap in capability, the integration of precision-guided munitions. Suite 8 gave the A-10 the ability to carry and employ advanced precision weaponry like the GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, the GBU-54 Laser Joint Direct Attack Munition, and the AGM-65E Laser Guided Maverick Missile. These smart munitions, paired with the Sniper Pod and the Helmet-Mounted Integrated Targeting System, which projects targeting information directly onto the pilot's helmet visor, transformed the Warthog from a low-level close-air support bruiser into a surgical strike platform capable of eliminating point targets with pinpoint accuracy while minimizing collateral damage. Further enhancements included an integrated flight and fire control computer IFFCC, to improve accuracy, the Situational Awareness Data Link Saddle for improved coordination with ground forces, and the remotely operated video enhanced receiver Rover system allowing pilots to receive real-time video feeds from ground units. A new GPS-aided inertial navigation system EGI, was added along with upgraded radios and IFF transponders. A-10s also received state-of-the-art ALQ-184V electronic countermeasure pods to detect and defeat surface-to-air threats, along with new ARC-210 Warrior radios allowing pilots to communicate securely with ground forces and other aircraft using Link-16 data links. 
Structural and mechanical upgrades were made to the wings, fuselage, landing gear, and flight control systems to extend the A-10's service life through 2040. The cumulative result of over a decade of intensive modernization was a 21st century A-10 Thunderbolt II, a lethal digital age tank killer, more survivable, more connected, and more precise than ever before, ready to support American troops in any conflict across the globe. But it wouldn't be long before this next generation Warthog would be put to the ultimate test. A-10s in modern combat. In 2014, as the terrorist group known as ISIS swept across Iraq and Syria, declaring an Islamic caliphate and committing unspeakable atrocities, A-10s once again answered their nation's call to action. Warthogs deployed to the region as part of Operation Inherent Resolve, tasked with halting ISIS's advance and supporting local forces in reclaiming their homeland. The upgraded A-10's precision strike capabilities proved instrumental in the close air support role. In urban battles like the liberation of Mosul, the A-10's ability to loiter at low altitude for extended periods, positively identify targets, and engage with pinpoint accuracy, minimize civilian casualties, and enabled Iraqi forces to retake the city block by block. A-10 pilots pioneered new tactics using their targeting pods and data links to provide overwatch and reconnaissance for friendly forces, often identifying and designating targets for strikes by other coalition aircraft. In battles like Kobani, Warthogs conducted Sandy missions, flying low and slow to locate downed pilots and coordinate their rescue by combat search and rescue teams. When ISIS fighters attempted to make their last stand in places like Baguz and Raqqa, they were met with the unrivaled might of the A-10. Warthogs cracked open fortifications, eliminated snipers, and rained devastation on the enemy with a lethal combination of precision bombs, Maverick missiles, and of course the iconic GAU-8 cannon, its depleted uranium rounds chewing through tanks and buildings alike. Half a world away in Afghanistan, A-10s continued to support American and allied forces battling a resurgent Taliban. Flying from bases like Kandahar and Bagram, Warthogs provided 24-7 close air support, responding to the urgent calls of troops under fire, saving countless lives with their timely and accurate strikes. In one instance, in 2018, a group of U.S. Special Forces conducting a raid found themselves surrounded and under intense fire from Taliban insurgents. An A-10, call sign Hog-11, responded to their distress call. Despite heavy anti-air force fire, which damaged the A-10, the pilot continued to fly, making multiple gun and bombing runs until the Special Forces team was able to break contact and evacuate their wounded. The damaged A-10 limped back to base where ground crews counted over a dozen holes from enemy fire. The aircraft was repaired and returned to service within 24 hours, a testament to its legendary toughness and the dedication of its maintainers. From the deserts of Iraq to the mountains of Afghanistan, the modernized A-10 Thunderbolt II proved its worth time and again thanks to the bravery and skill of its pilots and the cutting-edge technology now at their fingertips. But even as the Warthog racked up new combat accomplishments, the debate about its future raged on in Washington, D.C. and the Pentagon. The future of the Warthog Despite the A-10's unrivaled capabilities and combat record, some in the Air Force leadership argued that the aircraft was too old, too slow, too vulnerable in a 21st century battlefield filled with advanced air defenses and fifth-generation fighters. They pushed for the A-10's retirement contending that its close air support mission could be performed by newer multi-role platforms like the F-35 Lightning II. But A-10 advocates, including active duty pilots, congressional supporters, and even many in the other armed services who'd seen firsthand the value of a dedicated close air support platform, fought back. They argued that the Warthog's unique abilities, its long loiter time, its durability, its big gun remained essential and irreplaceable assets for troops on the ground. No sleek and stealthy fighter they contended could get down in the weeds like the hog. Ultimately, thanks to the tireless efforts of the A-10 community and its allies, the decision was made. The Warthog would keep flying. In 2017, the Air Force announced plans for a massive A-10 fleet sustainment and upgrade program known as A-10 Thunderbolt II Advanced Wing Continuation Kit, or ATTACK, to replace wings on the aging aircraft and keep them battle-ready into the 2030s. But the upgrades didn't stop there. A-10s are now being fitted with even more advanced avionics and weapons, including the GBU-39 small-diameter Bomb II, which can track and destroy moving targets in all weather, 
and the GBU-54 Laser JDAM, which enables pilots to use laser guidance to hit targets, moving it up to 70 miles per hour. New high-resolution displays are being installed in A-10 cockpits, along with improved helmet-mounted sights. There's even talk of adding Link-16 data links, allowing A-10s to share targeting data and coordinate attacks with other aircraft like F-35s and F-22s. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, the plane built to save lives on the battlefield, has itself been saved thanks to the recognition that its unique and vital capabilities remain as relevant and necessary today as they were when the first Warthog took to the skies nearly half a century ago. Upgraded for the digital age and constantly evolving to meet the needs of the modern battlefield, the A-10 stands ready to answer the call to action now and for decades to come. So as long as there are American troops on the ground placing themselves between innocence and harm, there will be A-10s overhead, their pilots ever vigilant, their GAU-8 cannons ready to roll, bringing the full might of American air power to bear in their defense. The enemies of the United States will continue to tremble at the distinctive <laughs> sound of an A-10 gun run while American troops will draw comfort and confidence from the silhouette of that inelegant but indomitable warthog against the sky. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, the Warthog, the plane built to bring our boys home safe, the ugly angel on the shoulder of every young American warrior, not the plane we want, but the plane we need, now, tomorrow, and for many years to come. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the legendary A-10 Warthog, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more powerful military stories just like this one. And don't stop here, check out the next video on screen to keep exploring the world of modern warfare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.